Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. And then ask yourself if, if it's comfortable. If it is, keep up this rhythm. If it's not, you can change. You're trying to give the mind something good to feed on. The mind likes pleasure, so here's some pleasure for it right here. You can breathe in a way that feels refreshing, energizing when you feel tired, relaxing when you feel tense. There are lots of different ways you can breathe. It's good to learn how to take advantage of the breath. Because it's something right there. You don't have to buy it from anyone else, unlike all the other foods in the world. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to grow it someplace else. It's right here. All you have to do is learn how to fix it a little bit in the same way that you would fix food. So it's something good for the mind to feed on. As the mind goes through life looking for pleasure, and if it can't find pleasure in skillful ways, it'll do whatever it can to get whatever. Skillful or unskillful opportunity presents itself. So before it starts looking for food in the wrong places, i.e. junk food for the mind, things like greed, aversion, and delusion, give it some good food right here. When the mind is well fed, then it can look at good food and say, well, I've had, I've had enough. If you can look at bad food and say, there's no way I would go for that. Unlike the mind that's hungry, the mind that's hungry sees everything as food. So it takes some time to cultivate this food inside, fix this food inside. And then wherever you go, you have a sense of well-being. And when you come from a sense of well-being, the things you do and say and think are bound to be a lot more skillful. You can be more selective in what you decide to say, what you decide to think, what you decide to do. This way your life takes on a better shape. So something that's very simple and basic, like the breath, can be used for all kinds of good purposes. And it's a size, sign of a wise person that you take advantage of what you've already got. Instead of looking for your wealth outside, looking for your satisfaction outside, you start within. Cultivate the things you've already got. Make the most of them. And then you're in a better position to decide what things outside really are worth going for. Your eyes and ears and the rest of your mind are not blinded by hunger. This way you live in a more skillful way and it has a good effect on the people around you. So feed yourself well. Getting a lot of pleasure out of the breathing is not called greed. It's a sign that you know how to take advantage of what you've got.